Hey everyone, I'm Ziv Vacant here for the Dead Rising 4 Holiday Edition. Now in Australia, this was like the only edition you could get that wasn't the base game. I don't know if there was any more, if there was, so far from what I understood you couldn't get in Australia. But this isn't too bad, for an extra $10 you get DLC, Steelbook and a Globe. Not in any crazy packaging really, it's just that, that just says Holiday Edition and that. So, thumbs up, says Holiday Edition. It's in this plastic, and then you got like, yeah, $110, and EB Games is $100 for the original one, even though you could just get it from like JB Hi-Fi or something for like 69, 70 bucks, or 79, but, eh. Shame you couldn't, uh, you know, get the, get the original game price match, and then just have the extra dollar, $10 added onto it, but, eh. It's Christmas! God, this thing is hard to open. Bloody plastic, I tell you. Anyway, it's like a book. Open it up. You open it up. And it just shoots out. So, it's just the ordinary game there. Dead Rising 4, quite excited. I honestly just want to make Negan. Just make him in, uh, Frank West into Negan. Funny enough, Dead Rising was one of the first Xbox 360 games I ever got. So I've got some... Uh, memories there and then you got this which is actually really cool and it is funny how he looks like Negan and that I'm really sure that was that that's one of the reasons they went okay let's do that hell I wouldn't be surprised if they based Negan on Frank West to an extent considering I think Frank West came first and that's the inside not bad for a still book and as a fan of like Christmas and like horror zombie stuff that's awesome too and you get the DLC which is Steampunk, Snowman Head, and a Psycho Cycle from the second game. Now, I've got number one, I've got number two, the one, the version where you play as him, and uh, I think that's about... I didn't get number three, um, even though it did look fun. For some reason, I never got it. Now, the only downside I have with how this is going is the season pass doesn't come in it. I really wish that they went, you know what, if you buy a collector's edition or something close to it, here have the season pass, because the season pass sounds like it's going to add a lot of stuff that they didn't actually add to the game, like co-op and all that, although they do add co-op, but like open world co-op, I think it was. Now, I don't really care much about that, because I never played open world co-op, so, yeah, and that's the inside of the game, just practically nothing, so, awesome. I'm going to transfer that into the steelbook and all that, but first, let's open now. This is actually pretty damn good. It feels heavy. It has got some heft to it. Frank West Holiday Slow Globe. <laughs> I do wonder if they'll sell these for like 10 bucks later on though. Because honestly, technically this is how much it got, it's 10 bucks. And it won't come out, I'm down. See, this is what I hate. I'm trying to get stuff out, okay. So, it's not that big, but it is pretty damn good. Like, it's, it's not bad, it's, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's a snow globe. I mean, what would you expect? There's like a little zombie head. There's like a tree, Christmas tree. Yeah. You know, there's the bat, the seal, the camera, and then you shake it up. And yeah, Dead Rising 4 at the front. As you can see. And then the back's just... Warning, not a toy intended for children, yada yada yada. And yeah. That's actually not bad, i got to say. I'm going to actually have this... I'm going to hate on me wall! <laughs> That's a really bad English uh, quote there. So, yeah, holiday edition for for it. Not bad. I mean, for 110 bucks, it's pretty good. You know, you get some DLC, you get a steelbook, you get everything you'd want, I guess. Yeah, anyway. Can't wait to play it. Ready to seal some zombies up and going back to Willamette. Anyway, I'll see you back next time. Bye.